Yeah. Well, look, listen, Amber's very interesting. Amber, good morning to you. you Hello. Hi, Hi, Amber. Amber. Uh, Amber, this is interesting. You are going to get married, yeah? Yes, yeah. And you've got the big day planned, and the big dread for you is the photographs. Why? Um, I've got a chronic illness, um, and it mainly affects the skin on my face. When I get stressed out, it flares up. Um, I wear makeup every day just so that I can go about my everyday life. Um, but the big worry is for me that, that any photographs that I've had taken of myself, that's the only thing that stands out. People compliment me on my makeup, but when they see me without it, the first thing they say is, Are you all right? You look really w unwell. Mm. Well, not to belittle... It's a bit like your programme tonight, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, and I don't want to belittle what you're going through because I understand, but lots of women without makeup. I don't know about you, Ruth, but people say, oh, are you feeling well? You, you look a bit pale oh, and I a don't bit have tired. People, or... people say, are you OK? Yeah. So just, like, bald. So hold on to that perspective. But I think also what I would do, um, I know with my own skin, parts can be quite waxy and shiny and the makeup doesn't stay. Other parts can be dry and absorbs it. And what I did when I was first getting to grips with makeup was um, put a bit of time and money aside and I went to a department store to one of the counters and had a proper lesson from a makeup artist that taught me how to prep and prime the skin, um, apply the makeup and then use setting sprays and setting powders for big days like a wedding, like a party yeah. and it does make a big difference when trying to sort of teach yourself. Would, would you ever think about that? I have thought about it but I think it's the anxiety of, of going somewhere like that and then having mm. to explain and worrying that they won't know about this condition or maybe they'd be ang anxious about whether it's contagious or not. Have you tried any of, of those um, online tutorials, Amber? Because there's some really good mm -hmm. people on YouTube and things yeah. now doing fantastic makeup tutorials. A lot of them professional makeup artists. Uh, Bryony, our, our own makeup artist here on this morning, um, she does those. So it might be worth having a look because I understand yeah. you don't. And actually, a lot of people feel uncomfortable in department stores sitting on a chair. But, but what about yeah. that embarrassment thing she's talking well, about? Well, I think also you've got to hold on to there are two things, aren't there? There's the makeup and there's the anxiety. And actually, if the most confident woman, a wedding day is very stressful so what about working on the well-being side you know for me I use um, apps for meditation um, so if I'm nervous so coming here today on TV in the taxi a little meditation app I made sure I had breakfast this morning I don't go and read um, traumatic stressful news on my telephone I try and prep myself to have the least anxious experience I possibly can have so and people wouldn't think that looking at you because you are such an accomplished performer I'm just so super cool well. <laughs> no, of course yeah. I get anxious yeah. and I but I, I I, I suppose the difference is me is I haven't cracked it how not to be anxious or unconfident, but I've recognised when I am and I'm and gotcha. I'm trying gotcha. to manage it. Just want it. to read you one comment. Well, you've from got Lucy, 15 which, seconds. Yes, I've, she said I've got a birthmark covering the whole of my face, but I refuse to wear makeup now as I'm happy with who I am, which is kind and of. And isn't that said. fantastic? There, there's a picture here. I mean, that's brilliant because. Well done, Lucy. We were talking about confidence, and and there there is the end journey of self acceptance, and yeah. that's so important.